Hello everyone, Steel Rangers here. After a summer break, we are back here at Shot Pouch to where High Guard C to C and we're hoping to have a very uneventful trip so we can talk. We are going to go down that direction. Somebody must have had a picnic here. We're picking up quite a bit of stuff. This is a very different place from what we saw three years ago. Looks like it's been logged, cleaned up, ready for the burn season, and opens up this beautiful view out here. When we came here with the Lead Ranger, this was a forest, really thick, forbidden, and very kind of creepy. Now it's lovely, open to the critters and to the people. And looks like our trail is going right down this way. You can go this way, or you can go around, but that's certainly not what the little auditor is going to do. intentionally checking the area around here because there might be an avalanche possibly anything inside nothing dead good As we were eating our lunch, we noticed that it's unusually quiet. Usually we hear birds, and in a big open place like this, we'd see at least a couple of turkey vultures going around. It's very suspiciously dead around here. Little auditor ventured to guess this may be because the hunting season just opened. And the critters know what's coming. So. That's one reason for us to say super duper loud. We're telling stories, singing songs, and just enjoying our day. So, something interesting. There's our lunch logs. We walked off just a few feet, and there's this really, really, really steep edge. And just over the edge, something is shining in the trees that so obviously doesn't belong. The question is, did it tumble, tumble down that way and land it this way, or was there a road down there and somebody quote-unquote delivered it?
This is where our journey deviates from three years ago. The previous track took us straight down where the logs are lying across right now. And the little auditor is pointing in the direction of the new trail. Thank you C2C crew who created this. If we keep going straight on the road where it used to be, it's rather dangerous and scary. And we're happy not having to go that way. Just as we were watching the slug on the road, two guys came around on the bikes and almost ran over our science experiment. This is not turning out to be an eventful day. So we have rolled this little guy off the road and marked him with sticks, put a cross on the road basically, so we can see how far he's gone by the time we come back here in another mile. Three years ago, we came down this path. It is a road, believe it or not. That was all we had for sea to sea adventure. It was the scariest trip. We went down the mudslide, lost a hiking stick, and at one point weren't sure if we actually going to get out of it. We were very happy when this awful road suddenly ended up here. It was a steep little, a steep little drop down, but we were actually on a walking road again. And this is where the rest of the road goes. It eventually meets up. It's a really nasty giant pile up. We're happy to report this year's adventure has been a lot less dangerous or scary. This is where we came from today. And this is where we came from last time. We are here at our turnaround point finally. We are on Mary's Peak Road. We are going to head back to our car and pick up whatever is along the way. We are currently at three and a half miles, so we gotta go and repeat that all over again. Last time uh, we were here, the Head Ranger and Lead Ranger we were picking them up and they had an enormous black bag full of trash. This time we have this much litter going out one way and we're hoping to not have that much more going back. The little auditor pointed out something fascinating. We we're looking all the way up these trees and everywhere you see, wherever it's red and yellow and orange, that's poison oak. That stuff goes all the way up the trunk. We have come back from hiking on the piece that connects Shot Pouch to Mary's River Road. We collected four bags in total. One is money money and three is all litter. We hiked 7.5 miles over the course of five hours. This was a beautiful tree. We would like to thank the C2C team for building out and connecting these really scary places. We have to say one thing, the litter that you see here is about third of what we've collected in the past. Most of it came from the recently cleared patch, 
which is unfortunate, but that we came to come to expect that. So this completes once this section of our trail, and we will see you again next week on hashtag Plaking.